Father, today we're coming before you and we're asking for fresh fire. Let it fall on us, God, as we worship, as we exalt you. Let that fresh fire, that fresh anointing, God, that fresh rain, let it fall. We need you, Jesus. We're hungry for your spirit. We're hungry. We lift up our hands. We lift up our hearts. We lift up our lives to you right now and say, come, Lord. We put our lives on the altar today. May it be a pleasing sacrifice, O God, and may your fire fall. Let your fire fall right now. Let it fall. Let your fire fall right now. Let it fall. We need it more and more. You provide the fire. And I'll provide the sacrifice. You provide the spirit And I will open up my life Mm -hmm. Come on, sing You provide the fire And I'll provide the sacrifice You provide the spirit Open up my life, fill me up, sing, fill me up, God, fill me up, God, fill me up, God, fill me up, fill me up, God, fill me up, God, fill me up, God, fill me.
feel the rains of your love. Yes. We feel the winds of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven, let us hear. We feel the rains of your love. We feel the winds of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven, let us hear and let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. Let it rain. Yes. Open the floodgates of heaven. We feel the rains. We feel the rains of your love. We feel the winds of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven, let us hear. We feel the rains of your love. We feel the winds of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven, let it rain. hungry we're ready we're waiting let it rain
Hey everybody, thank you for joining us today. We are so excited to be taking the next steps in meeting in person as a church. As Pastor Don and Miss Amy shared with us this past week, we've been released to begin gathering in cells as people are able to do so. Make sure to check in with your cell leader on the plan for your cell. As advised, ensure that all precaution is taken with regard to masks, sanitization, and social distancing as you get together. Third Thursday, our service for young adults is happening this week. Make sure you don't miss it on Thursday at 8 p.m. on the Third Thursday and City Lights IG pages. As we heard last week, we've had awesome opportunities this year to meet so many needs around our nation and the nations beyond through our 2020 Mission Faith Commitment Giving. Today, let's hear a report from Pastor Jamie Peters all the way from Bujumbura, Burundi. Greetings, Naya. Roby Lighthouse Church from Bujumbura, Burundi. My wife and I, Jamie and Leah Peters, send our, our love and appreciation and our greetings. She is holding the camera. She's the one doing the filming. So she would be here with me. Uh, she can't be in both places at the same time. We're still trying to figure out how to do that. I'm here. She's here, she just said, you heard. But uh, she's doing the filming and we just wanted to say thank you. Nairobi Lighthouse Church for your generous gift towards church planting and helping us fulfill the vision that God has given us to plant 1,000 churches on this amazing continent that we all love and appreciate so much. The vision is to plant 1,000 churches and there's been a few setbacks here and there in light of the, the pandemic, but we're still moving forward by the grace of God. Uh, our church in Malawi is doing great. They have seven churches that they've planted there in Malawi um, with our plant, church planting team uh, that's being led by Pastor Wilson and his wife, Yami Khan. They're doing an amazing job. They have seven churches that they're overseeing. Uh, a little over a year ago, they planted a church in an area called Mitundu, which is about an hour's drive from the long way, capital city, uh, a, a rural area of, of, of Malawi. And they were able to plant um, this church meeting about a year and a half ago now, and they were just meeting on a plot of land with a piece of tent stretched over, wasn't even a proper tent, but it was something, it was makeshift somehow, they made it work. And, uh, but now with $8,000, they were able to purchase land and build a simple structure, um, strong, sturdy, but very simple. And so uh, you'll see from some of these pictures that we'll add with this video, the, the how they were able to stretch eight thousand dollars and so it's amazing what one can do in rural africa and so we so appreciate you guys' generous offering and gift towards church planting uh, we are also moving forward with plans to plant churches in zambia and in congo as well and of course here in burundi and we we suspect in probably another year to year and a half we'll be ready also to uh, launch and plant a new church here in Burundi. We have uh, 13 churches all together, um, three here in Burundi. Uh, we've got two in Congo. We've got another one in Zambia, and they're also working on their second church plant or campus there in Lusaka as well, which hopefully will, will be launched by the end of this year. And then of course, seven in uh, Malawi. So uh, we're excited with this offering. We'll be able to, again, launch out and plant another church, uh, getting, that, getting us that much closer to 1,000 churches in Africa. We love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Asante ni sana na mungu awabariki. Finally, let's turn our attention to giving today. We're doing that by M-Pesa on pay bill number 652652, and in the account section, indicate your giving number if you have one, as well as what you're giving towards. Let's read the scriptures together as we give. Psalms 112, five, six, and nine from the Passion Translation. Life is good for the one who is generous and charitable, conducting affairs with honesty and truth. Their circumstances will never shake them, and others will never forget their example. Never stingy and always generous to those in need, their lives of influence and honor will never be forgotten, for they were full of good deeds. 
We love you, NLC. Have a great week.